Vote 2024 today, more than a dozen voting machines in Duval County were tested for their accuracy ahead of next month's general election. The process is called logic and accuracy testing. It was open to the public and every county in Florida is required to take this step in an effort to ensure every voter's ballot will be tallied properly. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar was there and explains what happens during this process. Inside the Duval County Election Center on Jacksonville's north side, these voting machines were tested to make sure they work correctly, ensuring that every voter's ballot will count in next month's general election. This process was open to the public, so expected voters like Keith Garrett could witness it himself. If you don't have a trustworthy election and you can't trust the results, why bother to have them? We are making an honest effort in the state to have honest elections that people can trust. Duval County Supervisor of Elections Jerry Holland says all of these machines were randomly selected. It's one from each of the 14 city council districts, one tabulator from an early voting location, and all four of the high-speed tabulators used by mail ballots. It's testing also. Does the machine, what will it reject an overvote, which means you voted for two when you only should vote for one? It's testing that equipment in front of the public to show them our equipment is accurate, and will be accurate on election day. Look, they can ask any questions right now and again, make sure they feel comfortable that their vote's gonna count and it's gonna be accurate. Among those here is Court Judge Rhonda Peoples Waters, who has helped monitor the testing and takes notes of what was happening. You see all of the work that is put in from the Supervisor of Elections Office and the staff. I mean, it's amazing to see how all of the votes are collected and the effort that's put in to make sure that every vote counts. Holland says testing from all of these automated machines revealed that every piece of equipment is working properly right now ahead of the general election and says all of the numbers tested were 100 percent accurate. He says that's imperative in an election where in Duval County right now, there are more than 646,000 registered voters ahead of the election. Holland is anticipating anywhere between 75 to 80 percent of them turning out on Election Day. We'll have candidates. We have one of our candidates running for Soil, Water and, Con and Conservation Board. She's here to make sure the process is accurate. We want to make sure candidates at the end of the night know that their results are accurate and they can trust those results. As he says, he hopes that was achieved during this public testing. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.